Hello, welcome to this video. Let's see some of ideal scenarios for your understanding here. Please note, this is not an extensive list and there could be a lot more possible real-time use cases. The first ideal scenario is when you build multiple microservices with the different technologies and programming languages because the framework creates auto-generated classes across the languages which helps us to get start the development easily and next use case is for backend microservice to microservice communication with high volume of data because you can leverage a binary protocol that is protobuf over http2 rather using a conventional text based messaging json xml cvs over http1 protocol Bidirectional communication, duplex streaming, and multiplexing. You can realistically increase the performance of every single call by at least a few milliseconds, especially in applications with heavy loads where every bit counts. It could really make a difference. And a next ideal scenario could be when we're designing a secured architecture with Google's integrated authentication model let's say SSL or OAuth token for device to device and device to cloud communications. Next ideal scenario could be when we designing a system that requires a set amount of data or processing routinely and in which the requesters is low power. For example, IoT applications and also for low latency or low bandwidth data transfer in mission to mission communication especially when the client and servers are done in different languages next ideal scenario could be when we designing an architecture for mobile and desktop applications because you can precisely define a service and auto generate reliable client libraries for iOS Android using gRPC framework and protobuf clients can take advantage of advanced streaming and connection features which help save bandwidth cp usage and battery life however the grpc architecture style not be a good choice for web ui based applications because web browsers does not fully support http2 features for now so browsers can't directly call a grpc service alternatively to overcome this you should create one external facing microservice using rest for the internal grpc services after seeing the features of grpc framework and protobuf benefits now you might have understood when to choose the grpc style that fit for your business or solution requirements. On a high level, we can conclude as that multiplexing, full duplex and proto request responses make gRPC much faster as compared to REST. It is only available for internal services because there are no APIs available for external use until gRPC web evolves fully so grpc style api design should be great for communications between internal microservices where low latency and high throughput communications are critical other synchronous messaging technologies such as restful services or grabql should be more suitable for external facing services as a final note, every API style has its own pros and cons. Only you can determine which solution is best given your requirements. So you should do a detailed technical fitment analysis before finalizing any design option with consideration of all business key factors. Thanks for watching. If you find this video is helpful, then please 
like this video and share your comments. Bye for now.